concept of differentiation. Before going to the concept of differentiation, let's understand what do we mean by the rate of change of a function or simply the slope of a function. Let's suppose you are standing at the foot of a hill. Mark the points A to J each 100 meters apart. If you moved from A to B, the distance travelled in the horizontal direction delta x is 100 meter. The height difference between A and B is 0. Let us denote the height difference by delta h. The vertical distance travelled or the height difference delta h is 0. So we can say that the rate of change of the height with respect to the distance travelled horizontally or simply the slope of the hill from A to B which is delta h by delta x is 0. Now moving from B to C, the height difference is 1 meter. While covering the horizontal distance of 100 meter, we moved vertically a distance of 1 meter. So between the points B and C, the slope of the hill is 1 by 100 that is equal to 0 0.01. Now, moving from C to D, we cover a vertical distance of 5 meter while moving the same horizontal distance of 100 meter. The slope of CD is 5 by 100, that is equal to 0 0.05. The slope of CD is greater than BC, that is CD is steeper than BC. Similarly, the slope between D and E is 20 by 100 that is equal to 0 0.2 and the slope of EF is 0 0.4. The surface from F to G is plane so the slope here becomes 0. Between the points G and H, H and I and I and J the hill is descending and the slope becomes negative. The slopes are minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.1 and minus 0 0.03 respectively. Hope that you are clear with the concept of slope and rate of change. Now in reality, the slope of the hill does not vary abruptly from a particular point. Instead, it follows a gradual variation. Let's consider the portion DE. Here, the slope of the hill is not the same from D to E as we assumed earlier. It changes at every point between D and E. How will we find the actual slope at a point P in between D and E? For this, let's take a point Q which is close to P. Let P and Q be separated by a horizontal distance of delta x and a vertical distance of delta h. We can calculate the average slope between P and Q by calculating delta h by delta x as we did in the previous cases. Now to make this slope between P and Q more accurate to the slope at the point P, let's bring the point Q closer to P. In other words, decrease the length of delta x. The closer we go, the more accurate we are. When the distance delta x is very close to 0, the line joining P and Q becomes the tangent at the point P and we get the real slope at P. Mathematically, the slope delta y by delta x, when delta x becomes closer and closer to 0, can be given as limit delta x tending to 0, delta y by delta x. This slope for a small change in variable is called the derivative and the process of finding it is called differentiation. The derivative can be given as dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tending to 0, delta y by delta x.